this is a piano tutorial for uh, Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers. Um, I haven't done a piano tutorial in nine years, and I had uh, no intention of doing another one, uh, but I was trying to figure out this one chord progression that happens in this song that she does that's so, so good, and then uh, one thing led to another, uh, and I ended up uh, transcribing the whole song, and then I realized that there weren't any tutorials online, so I thought um, I'd do one. So, first off, the song is in the key of C sharp. Um, if you're looking at the sheet music, you're probably seeing a lot of sharps, but uh, it's no big deal. Uh, the scale just looks something like this. So you're gonna be using the black keys a lot. Second thing, the song is in the time signature 3-4, uh, which means it goes 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. And then lastly, you're gonna be using the pedal a lot through the song, uh, just to give it that really like echoey, ethereal, reverby sound. So the song is split up into four sections. Uh, you're gonna have the verse, uh, where you're gonna be playing this little riff on the right-hand side and then chords on the left-hand side, so. And then there's the pre-chorus, uh, where you're gonna be playing these uh, arpeggios. And then there's the chorus uh, where you're going to be going up and down these long chords. And then there's the outro, uh, which is sort of a piano interpretation of what's going on at the end of the song. So first things first, uh, for the verse and a lot of the song, uh, you're going to be playing the same riff on the right hand side. Uh, it uses F, F sharp and C sharp. Uh, and slowly it looks like this. And you're just gonna repeat that over and over and over again. Um, so at tempo, it sounds like this. So if you're having trouble counting and, and interpreting like the number of times going through, uh, it goes like this. So it's one, two, three, Another way I sometimes like to think about it is going uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. I don't know if that's helpful. It might be more confusing, but regardless, um, you should get used to playing this over and over and really build that muscle memory in because you're gonna be playing a lot of different chords on the left-hand side um, at different rhythms. And sometimes you're just gonna be playing this alone on the right-hand side. Um, so you really have to get that rhythm and muscle memory down. Um, and you will, and soon enough, you'll be able to play that riff over and over uh, while your left hand is juggling or filing taxes. So for the verse, the left-hand side is gonna be playing three chords. Uh, C sharp with uh, C sharp and G sharp and then a D sharp chord with D sharp and A sharp. And then uh, the last chord is a F sharp chord um, that has two alternating voicings. So what that means is there's an F sharp and then either the lower or the higher C sharp. So either. Uh, and so the first time you play the lower one, the second time you play the higher one. So altogether, it sounds like this. And so with both hands together, it sounds like this. And you're gonna do that throughout the intro, um, the first verse when the speed kicks in, um, and then you're gonna hit the pre-chorus at the, the drugstores are open all night. So for that portion, we're gonna be playing these arpeggios, uh, which basically means just a chord, but you play the notes individually, so. Hey all, quick note here. So I'm gonna be playing these arpeggios using both hands. Um, I find it easier that way. If you listen to the track, you can actually hear that sort of like a uh, right hand riff from before also on top of that. Um, and so in the sheet music, I have both written down in case you want to play the arpeggios just with your left hand. Um, I find that personally a little too difficult, so I'm gonna be showing it here 
uh, I'm going to be playing the arpeggios with both hands and ignoring the riff on the right hand. Uh, this first arpeggio starts with C sharp, then G sharp, and then F, so. The second one is G sharp, F, C sharp. And then the last one is F sharp, C sharp, A sharp. So, all together, that sounds like this. So the way I like to think about this is it's sort of like a, a handoff between the first arpeggio and the second uh, because they share these notes. So it's uh, and then you use these two again. And then sometimes at the end of the arpeggio, she throws in these little two or three notes like or so uh, like. So you're gonna repeat that twice and then you're just going to play the C sharp arpeggio and let it ring out for the last line of the pre-chorus. Uh, I love a good place to hide in plain sight. And now we're at the chorus. Um, so the chorus is um, very rich and complicated uh, and just sort of wavy all through these chords. So instead of trying to write exactly uh, note for note what's being played. Uh, I just wrote out the basic versions of these chords um, that we're gonna basically be playing up and down, uh, but feel free to, you know, throw in notes and little little lilts um, that are in the key uh, whenever you feel like it. Um, and you'll probably see me doing that here and not being like super strict to what's written. Um, but uh, here we go, so. Uh, the first chord is going to be the C sharp, so C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F, like this. Uh, and so I'm just playing up and down. And then the next chord is going to be F sharp, which is F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. And then A sharp, which is going to be A sharp, C sharp, F, A sharp. quickly down to a G sharp, which is going to be G sharp, C sharp, F, A sharp, and then back down to the F sharp. So all together it's going to sound like this, uh, and this is on the line, what if I told you? to the second verse, which is uh, a little different. A lot of stuff happens in it. Um, so uh, to start off on the line, uh, and here everyone knows you're the way to my heart, you're actually just going to play the riff on the right hand alone. And then the chords are going to come in on the left hand. And now we're going to actually play the arpeggios from the pre-chorus on the line most times alone and some looking your worst. Uh, but we're actually going to throw in a modified version of the second chord, which sounds so good and it's so fun. Um, so uh, normally uh, this pre-chorus bit sounds like this. But we're going to throw in a funky note to change up that chord in the middle. So uh, we're going to start with that regular C sharp arpeggio, C sharp, G sharp, F. But now for the second arpeggio, we're actually going to play uh, A natural instead of G sharp here. So instead of, it's going to be, which sounds so, so good. And I think that's an A augmented chord uh, is what's going on there. Uh, but whatever it's called, it is just so, uh, I just love it. And then we're going to go back to that F sharp arpeggio. And then for the line, but never not sweet, uh, we're gonna play it slightly differently. We're gonna play the regular C sharp arpeggio. Uh, and then we're gonna play an arpeggio with D sharp, A sharp, and F sharp. And then back up to that F sharp arpeggio we know. So all together, that's gonna sound like this. Mm -hmm. 
So for the next part, uh, at Man I Wish That I Could Say The Same, uh, we're gonna be playing the riff on the right hand side and then the chords on the left hand side, just like the regular verse. And then for Copycat Killer, um, we're gonna be playing another variation of the arpeggio. So we're gonna start with that C sharp. Uh, we're gonna play that augmented arpeggio with the A natural here. And then we're gonna play that F sharp arpeggio from before. But instead of an A sharp, we're gonna play an A natural. So all together, that's gonna sound like this. Which is so, oh, it's so, it's so chilling and haunting and it's so good. Uh, but anyway, uh, then we're gonna just gonna play the C sharp arpeggio and let that ring out for either I'm careless or I wanna get caught. And then we're gonna play the chorus again. Uh, same, same as last time. And then we get to the outro. So the outro to the song is this sort of airy, synthy, stringy thing um, that arguably shouldn't be played on piano, uh, but if you want to, um, this is a sort of approximation of it. So um, there's this uh, airy bit that happens in the right hand side that's uh, C sharp, F, and G sharp. Um, and what I'm doing is just like playing through it, just sort of noodling on it, uh, just, to, just to like hammer those. Um, into the reverb, so it's like. And then you're gonna play that down with the thumb onto a C natural. And then down to an A sharp. And then down to a G sharp. Uh, and on the left hand side for that, you can play uh, uh, a C sharp. And then lastly, for the line with nowhere to start, you're gonna be playing this low C sharp, and then up to a D sharp, and then you're gonna end on an F natural, and then that's the end of the song. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you are able to uh, play this because it's such a great, such a great, great piece. Um, yeah. Check out my music at, uh, I go by The Eponymous Tom. You can find me on Spotify. Um, I'm gonna have a video up soon about a neural network guitar pedal that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, keep on fighting the good fight. Keep on doing that good thing, and uh, peace all.